Hi guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily fix uh, any startup issue you might ha be having with your Windows 10 machine. Uh, now these issues you might have, you might see this blue screen every time you turn on your machine or you might even see just a complete black screen and it won't even boot to the Windows 10 desktop. I'm going to show you how you can easily resolve it now. So what you need to do is if you get the Windows 10 DVD and put that into your system, if you don't have the Windows 10 install CD, you can actually create a bootable USB stick, uh, which I'll post a link to a guide in the description of this video. Uh, so you can see how to, to create that. So once you've done that, if you turn your machine on, and here it's going to say press any key to boot to the CD. Okay, so if you get this message up, click no. So first of all, select your language or region, click next, click here, repair your computer. Uh, so click on troubleshoot, advanced options, command prompt. Now the first thing I like to do is if you run this command chkdsk space c colon forward slash uh, f forward slash r now what this does is this is a special uh, scanner that will scan your system for any corrupt files or bad sectors and it will fix the issues that it finds automatically uh, so you can see here it's it's run already so once it's run, if you just uh, click on the red X to close it down, uh, do turn off your machine and try and boot it to the desktop. If you still have a problem, come in here again and come to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Startup Repair. So if you click on that and then follow the prompts, uh, then once the that application is finished if you reboot your machine again hopefully you'll be able to get to the desktop if it doesn't come back in here again into the advanced options command prompt and type in another command fsc space forward slash scan now s c a n n o w Again, this is going to be this is going to do pretty much the same thing that we just ran before the system startup repair, but this is actually a different application that runs. So hopefully this will fix the issue if the previous scan didn't. So again, once that is finished, I'm just going to just going to close it now. Once that's finished, reboot your machine. Fingers crossed, it'll boot to the desktop. If it doesn't, come back in here again. Go troubleshooting, advanced options, system restore. So if you click on there, hopefully there'll be a restore point from before you, you started to have these issues. <clears throat> so if you can just select that backup, restore to that backup, and hopefully you'll be able to boot to the desktop. Uh, the last thing that I can recommend you to do is reset this PC. You can select this option here. Uh, what this will do is basically it will not wipe your files. So locations like uh, my documents, uh, the temp drives, it will not wipe the files from there. But what it will do is it will remove your application. So if you've got <clears throat> any custom applications like Office, maybe Outlook, um, if you've installed Chrome, Firefox, it will uninstall those applications and it will just give you a fresh install of Windows <clears throat> and it should have your files there from before. Um, that is the last thing that you should try. Once you've tried everything else, this is the last thing you should try because yeah, that's I wouldn't like to do that option, but it could be the last thing you need to try. Okay, I hope these uh, tips have helped you to recover your system again. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave it in a comment below and I'll uh, get back to you. Uh, please remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching.